Welcome to the Learn French with Alexa podcast, where we present a French word, look at where it comes from, and take a deep dive into the language and culture that surrounds it. Now choose your designated driver because today's episode is all about aperitif. <laughs> In today's episode, we are all uh, about the aperitif, the word aperitif. And I know Benedict has lots to tell us about that word, and uh, I can't wait to find out about it. So uh, an aperitif is the drinks or the drink that you have before starting a is meal. Is it just drinks or would it be food as well? It can be food. We, we, it can be nibbles. nibbles. It, it can, can be, be nibbles. nibbles. And, and we have taken it to another level and we, we've, we will find out about it. Uh, another type of aperitif. So I've got a question for you, Adam. What time do you think the aperitif is? If someone invites you for viens prendre l'apéritif, what time would you turn up? Well, I'd have breakfast and then I'd just make my way there. <laughs> <laughs> um, what time? I would say early evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah is, around it is six, six I would say. Six o'clock. So, so it would be 6 p.m. or 18h for the French 18 people hour. because we of course, you know, tell the time uh, using the 24-hour clock. However, uh, in my family, we have two kinds of aperitif, the 11h30, <laughs> which is uh, right before lunch, and we have the 18h as well. So you can be invited uh, for an aperitif either at lunchtime or in the evening. Uh, that's if you have guests, I presume, right? You wouldn't just be doing that on a regular uh, family well, lunch. I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh, the, the lunch, I wouldn't. But I, I would literally have a little aperitif yeah. um, with, a, I don't know, my boyfriend or or yeah. if I have one or two friends around, like yeah. it doesn't... And an aperitif, uh, like we said, is uh, a small tipple of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Does it matter what kind of alcohol or are there specific types that is very that are very common in French? Yeah. Um, There are specific times. Yeah, would you say? What well, in my family, okay. <laughs> and this is when you discover that actually... Just... And actually, Alexa has a little problem. <laughs> so, um, no, you're right. My father is le roi de l'apéritif. <laughs> so usually you have some strong uh, drinks such as pastis. Pastis. Um, my father will serve you definitely a pastis. Uh, as an aperitif. So this is a kind of a cloudy, uh, anise anise type of drink. Uh, alcohol. Yeah. Um, we, we, you add water or ice cubes, yeah. so there's probably. Yeah, so the aperitif with the pastis, that's interesting because I don't drink it. I, I love anise, the taste of anise, but I definitely do not like uh, the taste of a good Pernod. I remember, uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember actually um, being in France at your parents' house, yeah. Alexa, and Uh, there'd, there'd always come a moment in the, in the day where your father and, and, and myself, we'd, we'd look at each other and there'd be a little glint in his eyes and he'd, he'd, his eyebrows would raise slightly and he'd, and he'd say, Pastis? <laughs> oh, that is and that cute. was the time. I was waiting for it. You know, I was wondering when it was. Sometimes so I was like looking it. at my watch. When it's, it's running a bit late today. Are we not, <laughs> is this not happening today? But it would always happen. It will always happen. And there is a, a, a story with the pastis is that if you put too much water in the pastis, so it's a, so a tiny bit of pastis with a tiny bit of water, you know. But if you put a little bit too much water, then it's called un pastis noyé. So and you pastis. have drowned, drowned pastis. your pastis ah. and people who think can't drink that and anymore. pastis noyé. Yeah. Mm. So noyé means drowned. Elle a, ou il ou elle a noyé mon pastis ou tu as noyé le pastis. Is, is that something you can only say with drinks such as pastis or is that a... Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. You, well. you yeah, can yeah. Drinks where uh, that you would add water to, but only only a certain oh, amount. Yeah. Tiny, it's, it's a dash of water, if, you, if I can say that. Anyway, to, to go back to the aperitif, it's definitely drinks and nibbles before. Yeah, um, like por Porto, yeah. um, que, even wine. I mean, a, a uh, glass wine, of yeah, wine. Yeah, no, absolutely. Wine, glass of wine. Uh, or juice for children, you know, anything. I mean, have a look at the... Uh, when you go to France, have a look at the in the supermarket at the aisle mm. um, for the Where you have savory any, yes. stuff, so crisps biscuits and whatever it's, it's incredible massive. it is incredible it is massive uh, the alleyways you know in supermarket just for the the aperitif you know so it's big so you can tell France. we're really into it yeah <laughs> 
but I've always been. Not me, personally. <laughs> we, Are we, you trying to tell us something, Alexa? We have always been into the aperitif. Where, where does it come from, Benedict? Well, interestingly enough, there's traces of it back to like um, Egyptian times. People were already like sharing dates and warm beer. And then the Greeks um, had the symposiums, like a sort of banquet where people would come and, you know, drink and eat and stuff like that and celebrate the god of wine um, and uh, and other gods, really. And then in the Middle Ages, um, it starts being seen as medicine a little bit. Only the seigneur, the lords, would drink alcohol as um, for fun, almost. Le seigneur. The lord. The lord. The lord. The lord. The lord. Is this a word we still use today? Le seigneur in French. Yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yes, 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 in yes, uh, religious uh, vocabulary, you would. Yeah, uh, or seigneur. even just like un seigneur, when you're talking about... Middle Ages, yeah, um, and senior, yeah, yeah. Def- senior. definitely. So they would cl- the ritual of clinking glasses actually comes from that clinking glasses. Yeah, because they would be scared of uh, being poisoned. So when you click clink your glasses, then um, the drink will spill and over, over each other. Yeah, over each other. Clever, yeah, clever. and that's a way to uh, see if the drink was actually poisoned. And then obviously in France later on, it was seen as a medicine medicinal drink for a long time. Actually, it comes from the Latin word opere, which means to open. <laughs> to open. What, what's, uh, sorry, I can't help think, but what's the, the um, link between opere and aperitif? Well, at the time, it was used as a, a medicament mm-hmm. qui ouvre les voies de <laughs> l'élimination. <laughs> Les so, so laxative. De l'élimination. Okay, okay. Yeah. La, la, to help your stomach, let's put Les it that way. Les de, de l'élimination. Which means... Getting rid of something. Voie. What does voie mean? Path. The pathway. Yeah, yeah. the, the path. pathway. Mm. So un médicament qui ouvre les voies de l'élimination. A medication that opens the pathway of elimination. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's nice. getting, you know, it's it's proper fancy French, obviously, but yeah. In France, it's the Savoie region that became famous for using plants like absinthe, um, anise. We just talked about oh, anise, anise, anise yeah. said, and then absinthe. That's not even legal, is it? That's not it, legal. Not anymore. anymore. Not no, anymore. No. It used to be it's like such a strong yeah. alcohol. Yeah, so they used that to create medicine at the time, um, and then we have Joseph Dubonnet who created a drink with wine and quinine. Kidding you can find in your gin and tonic, in the tonic. Oh, really? Yeah, it's what's Kinin. in the kinin in, is in the tonic. Okay. Um, and at the time, it was about curing paludism. And then the, it, became, um, it became something else. Pe- people discovered that it actually could taste good. And um, it became a ritual to be seen socially. So people would come in and have a drink. And at the time... The alcohol content was way higher than it is nowadays. So, so what oh, became what became a laxative uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> turned into a, a social event. Yeah, uh, yes, know, exactly. Type of uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it brings people together, doesn't it? it, it uh, nothing aperitif. like a laxative <laughs> 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 brings people together. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that, Alexa. <laughs> so, so to to summarize, yeah. the word aperitif comes to, from the word. Opérer, mm-hmm. uh, which is to open. Well, we have mm. the word opérer, which is to operate yeah. as well, you know, um, which makes sense. You're opening, you know, mm-hmm. the surgeon opère. Um, that's very interesting. And uh, the origin was, of course, uh, to as medicinal. Yeah. Very interesting. I went to a French wedding once. And this is not really an aperitif because it's it was... Th- Three quarters of the way through the meal, mm-hmm. you know, in uh, after the tenth course, mm-hmm. they served s- some ice cream. Was it ice cream? Yes, okay. it was ice cream. Yeah. They served some ice cream with very strong alcohol mm-hmm. in it, and I, I believe it was called a tru. Mm-hmm. Oh, normand. Be, tru normand. Tru normand. Tru normand. And this was uh, designed to to yeah. help with the pathways to elimination. <laughs> Was it not that, so that you could then continue yeah. on yeah, helped, the next yeah. ten courses? <laughs> yeah. At least that's how digestif. I uh, We do have the word indigestif. Indigestif. Uh, quand tu prends indigestif, c'est, c'est usually help, after. Help digest the food after, to, yeah. to free yeah. up some space. Yeah, yeah. It's a much needed space in your stomach. It's very visual when you think about it. <laughs> oh, no, Thank you for I'm that. so sorry. I have to apologize for anybody who's listening and remembering. Oh, please, you know. Anyway, le trou normand is a real thing. Mm-hmm. 
that we still now, you know, you go to Batem, banquet, you go to any uh, mariage, uh, any celebrations, and you can be certain that halfway through the meal, there will be a tournament. You would have a very long aperitif in weddings, for example, and you might be only invited to the aperitif. Uh, is there like a, a number of drinks that you... Have no, the maximum no. Number of in, in France, there is no limit. When you ask people to come over, you know, it's whenever they're ready to go to live. And but quite, in, in a wedding situation, in a wedding situation, you if you know, if you we're have had one or, one or two, I'm assuming that if you have been invited for an aperitif at five o'clock or, or 17 heures, then you know that by 19 yeah, uh, yeah. that 19 mm -hmm. heures, that will be it. A couple But, of hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it could be that you're invited only to the aperitif rather than the whole meal. Talking about aperitif that lasts a long time, what happens and what used to happen at my, uh, my place, my house, is that quite a lot, you start with an aperitif and then my parents would start serving food on the table and you make it a dinner, mm -hmm. you know, so without so the really... Aperitif Could morph, could morph into, into a, a dinner. But the French have taken it a, a, quite a... Yeah, we have a, a word for this. Yes, go Un on. apéro dînatoire. Apéro dînatoire. Alors, apéro, can I just say, we haven't said that aperitif, uh, we uh, uh, shorten, it. shorten the word aperitif, apéro. This so is if slang. You, it's a slang word for aperitif. If you're invited to an apéro, it's an aperitif. An apéro is... Yeah. Uh, a slang way of saying aperitif. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Such, in the same way as sinoche yes. Yes. would be cinema, a slang yeah, for exactly. cinema. Cinema, sinoche. Yeah. So, so an, uh, an, aper, an apéro, dînatoire, mm -hmm. and yeah. ha, what, what is what this? What was that? Well, I think sort of an evening brunch with like nibbles. That's evening what it, brunch? Yeah, like maybe some... But So not a dinner. It's more it, than just crackers, if that makes sense, but it's not quite a dinner. So like maybe quiche... Uh, what would mm. you bring in? I mean, in the word dinatoire, you have the word dîner. Dine. Yeah. Dine. So, but it's going Is, to be... Can you have an apéro dîner? No. No. You can have an apéro and then a dîner. But Are you, you invited? Can you be invited to an apéro dînatoire? Yes. 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 Or, yes. Yeah. So you, or, or are you invite, invited so, just to the apéro and then suddenly it has become the apéro? It can be both. Can be both. Can be both. Um, in, in the UK, you have this show called Come and Dine With Me. Uh, we have the French equivalent of that. And you know how in the UK one, you always have someone who does a cheesecake? Like, always. Yes. Uh, and for us, it's the same, but with apéro dînatoire. So they'll do like nibbles and, and stuff like that. So it'll be um, not quite a dîner where you have You know, If, uh, like a casserole yeah. or like your coco like vin or whatever, it would be uh, dishes, uh, mini dishes, a bit like tapas in yeah, some ways. Exactly. Mini dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mini yeah, dishes. Yeah. Can be anything. But, uh, but so that you could end up eating enough food, but you're yeah. just not yes. calling it a dinner. What, well, what about we a soiree? Dinatoire. So. How about soiree? No, soiree no, is different. You'd be dancing. Yeah. A soiree, soiree is dancing, is it? Well, it's usually not even that, but if you say, je fais une soiree, At least in my circle, that means I'm having a party tonight. Oh, oh okay. And like a dinner party. Okay. Mm, Without the no. dinner. <laughs> oh, just, just, just a soiree. party. So if you're invited to the soiree, <laughs> yeah. you know, eat before you Je go. Je fais une petite soirée, that means I'm having a little party at my party. If bar. you're invited to an apéro, what do you do? Do you think, well, shall I eat a little bit? Or this could potentially you'll morph have into a dinner toi? You, you'll But have it, crisps it, anyway. So it crisps. depends. Can, it really depends on can the... Can an apéro... Oh. Yeah slowly become a dinatoire and then, again, become a dîner. Not no, really. No, no because, because the dinatoire is already a dîner. You are going to eat proper, substantial food. Anyway, you know that if you go to an apéro dinatoire, you're going to be fed as if, you know... As if it's you, a dîner. Uh, as, it, it, as if it's, you're... Yeah, except that it's more a nibbly thing. You know, we, we are going to serve your camembert, your pain, Jeez, your crisp, yeah. your... Uh, I don't know, your olives would be... In the be UK, you'd have crisps. sausage rolls. Time-wise, it doesn't end earlier 
than say if you if somebody uh, just invited you over no, for dinner. It, it no, enter. it's usually like it can end whenever you want it. To, oh, I'm pretty certain in my uh, brother's household, the uh, aperitif dinatoire ends at four o'clock in the morning the next yeah, day. Yeah, I was going to so say. There must be a word for that, surely. <laughs> no, one, I don't know. Uh, well, it's apéro dinatoire and then followed by une soirée. For, <laughs> there you go. It. So you've got both. It's a minefield. Yes. It is. So, so Freedom watch partying. out for all these etiquettes, you know, if you're invited just for the, juste pour l'apéritif for a wedding, for example. What, if you are invited to an apéro or an apéro dinatoire, yeah. what should you bring with you? Hmm. Well, if it's an apéritif, an apéro, I would say crisps. Or some Crisps. something to drink, whatever you well, like. You, you bring something. You bring you know, a bottle. You, you, you can bottle bring a bottle. Or some kind of some, snack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it's an aperitif dinatoire, then maybe something a bit more consistent. So I'm I'm going to repeat myself. Not cake, no. Not cake. No, no, you no. wouldn't. You, no, you would. No, like I'll get my coat. Well, or savory cakes, like cake au thon, and the, exactly. cake aux olives. Cake, cake uh, absolutely. Yeah. Oui, oui. Um, or quiche. I'm repeating quiche. myself with quiche, but it's it really is a staple. Yeah. A pie? Right. Some kind of pie? No. No. We no don't really. Is there a list? Is there a list that you can well, take? No. You can, Put it this way. If you, you, you can, don't want to make a faux pas. And if you can eat wouldn't. it with your fingers, yeah, then I can eat cake with my that. fingers. But yeah, no, I was going to say that's... The cake, you can cut it in bits, and oh, right. you know, pâté en croûte, for yeah. example. Um, so you can have that. Yeah, like it's it's almost like a brunch, but not really. No, it's like an lunch. evening an evening brunch. Yeah, kind of, but nibbles. A bag of peanuts. No, I mean, if that's well, what you eat for, like, I, just, for I just want to know what the safest evening. thing to bring to a dinner time. No, not. bring a bottle. Crisps. A bottle. Uh, bring crisps. a bottle. <laughs> Literally crisps. Right. Yeah. <laughs> No, but, for real though. <laughs> what are you saying? You'd be offended if someone turned up with like crisps? No, of course I'd, well, I. I won't be offended at all if they didn't turn up with anything. You know, it no, obviously not. It but like, depends what the flavor is. Is it not? I mean, salt and vinegar that would be great, but prawn cocktail maybe not. No, Never that's be true, invited but I don't, again. We don't really have that I in don't France. I think though. you would find that in France actually. So I've arrived at the apéro dinatoire, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. apéritif dinatoire. Mm-hmm. And the bottles have been opened, the glass is filled, we raise our glasses. Mm. Uh, what, what should I say as we clink the glasses so, to make sure that so, we haven't poisoned uh, each other? <laughs> well, exactly. That's the reason we know now from Benedict Dact, uh, the reason that uh, people used to clink, you say clink? Mm-hmm. Uh, their glasses uh, was to avoid to to be poisoned and making sure that everybody will be poisoned in that case. You know, yeah, exactly. So you raise your glass and you do not say salute. Like I have heard that so many times. You, you do know. not say you salute. You do not. That's not. Well, you uh, do in other languages, just not in French. It's not the right yeah. language. <laughs> yeah. So we say uh, lots of different things. We can say à la vôtre. À la mm-hmm. vôtre. Oh, à la nôtre. Yeah. To, to, to yours. To yours. So, to, to yours. To us. So, à la vôtre, which is to yours using the like, vous. It's like saying good health to you. Yes. Uh, yeah, to yours. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. À la vôtre. À la, à la vôtre. À la nôtre. To ours. À la nôtre. To us. All of us. Yeah. All of us. Mm-hmm. À la tienne. To, to you. To tienne. yours. Singular. Yeah. Singular. So, if, if you're doing it with one person. À la tienne. Yes, yeah. Using two. Uh, another one, can you think of another one? Yeah, à ta santé. À ta santé. To your à ta, health. Oh, à ta à, santé. À ta santé. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To your health. À ta santé. Yeah. So the, the can verb... Can you just say santé on its own? Yeah, you yes. can actually, yeah. Santé. Yeah, you can. Um, and the verb is, if you're clinking glasses, we would say trinquer. Trinquer. Trinquer is the... Trinquer so means... making a toast. It's making toast a toast. toast. So you could use the imperative trinquon. Yeah, let's make it so. Trinco, 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 I think I've heard chin chin. Chin chin, that's why you could say chin chin. Chin chin. chin. Yeah, it's usually the noise of you get. From, yeah. yeah, yeah. so we we can say chin chin, you can mm-hmm. say santé, you can say à la tienne, you can say anything, but don't say salut, please. But during the last couple of years, of course, uh, people haven't really had much opportunity to get together. Over here in the UK, we uh, started having Zoom parties and that sort of thing. Uh, what, how, did, how did it work in France with the aperitif de notoire? Well, we, we also had a lot of Zoom drinks, I would say, but we also um, had something called des apéros fenêtres. We've seen des, people do that. Des apéros 
fenêtre. Fenêtre. Fenêtre, oh, is... fenêtre means window. Exactly. So people from their uh, balconies would have drinks with each other, from with their neighbors. Ah. So it was a way to, I guess, keep in touch without infecting others, I guess. <laughs> Apéro fenêtre. Yeah. I like the sound of that, Apéro fenêtre. Yeah. Et would you say Zoom Apéro, Apéro Zoom? Non. Apéro Zoom? Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I've heard it, actually. Yeah. Apéro Zoom. Yeah, that, that's... A, yeah, I, I don't recall having had any aperitif did drinks. Did you not? No, I did, did you not. not have a Zoom drink? No, I remember doing my uh, father's birthday on Skype, actually, uh, where actually I pretended I, I baked a real cake for him on my side. And he had a candle on his side and I had a candle lit, you know, on my side. And so we brought it, I brought it to him, you know, towards the computer. And so he blew the candle at the same time as I blew mine, you know, for him. <laughs> that was pretty and, sweet. And uh, my whole siblings and their five of us, we were all on Zoom in different locations. That was interesting uh, yeah, well, to, to, do, to do a birthday like that, you know, but quite moving at the same time. Yeah. Well, I think now that we're uh, at, well, at this particular point in time, we're able to meet a little bit more. I think that Alexa should be organizing for her team <laughs> an apéro de la toile. Yeah, I shall do sounds, that. Sounds good. So until then, if you'd like to get in touch, please do so at podcast.learnfrench.com. And also there is um, all the words and expression idioms available with this podcast uh, uh, on a special support guide. That's it for us. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bisous, bisous.